Well, I, for one, am glad these Christmas carol criminals have finally been caught. Oh, you better not shop, you better not buy. Each dollar spent here helps fund apartheid. Secret shops are spoiling our town. In what has been described as an heroic act by WA police, two notorious criminals have finally been caught. Alex Bainbridge and Miranda Wood were charged in December and will now face trial on June 28 for singing Christmas carols. At first I didn't realise the group was protesters. I thought they were just carol singers until I heard what they were singing and noticed a guy with a video camera. The group was singing the tune to Jingle Bells, but the words had changed and I heard something about secret. Don't bring us your stolen beauty, we won't go until there's justice. We wish you a lot of business and no profit next year. They changed the words to the songs. They really shouldn't have done that. The deluded duo of Christmas Carol Crims believe that their actions could help the long-suffering people of Palestine by shining the spotlight on the actions of cosmetics company Secret. They say that Secret is an Israeli company which sources its product from the Dead Sea in occupied Palestine and is therefore a legitimate target of the international boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign. Secret is a beauty company. We just want to see more beauty in the world. Those protesters are telling a pack of lies about us. So is it true that you're an Israeli company? Oh well, that bit is true. And your product comes from the Dead Sea? Oh well, that goes without saying. We don't want to be bothered by illegal settlement, occupation or human rights. We just want to do our shopping. I think we have to be clear about what is at stake here. If these protesters and others like them around the world are successful in their goals, then human lives could be saved. The illegal apartheid wall could fall. That's how serious this is. Police believe the Christmas Carol criminals are just the front people for a vast conspiratorial organisation called the Friends of Palestine WA. Well, we know there's more than just the two of them involved, but we haven't been able to pin anything on the rest of them. But rest assured, we are watching them. Friends of Palestine like to present themselves to the world as if they were solely interested in supporting Palestinian human rights. But the reality is, this is a group that is dedicated to the cause of supporting Palestinian human rights. Police believe that this pair of miscreants will be trying to drum up public sympathy by holding a protest outside the courthouse on June 28. We have intelligence that there will be another protest outside the Perth Magistrates Court on June 28. Well, I wouldn't be going anywhere near it. I think parents need to be warned that if their children do attend this protest, uh, look, the reality is they're going to be contributing to an international movement for justice in Palestine. But will the police allow the protest to go ahead? The WA police has a very long and proud history of supporting the rights of protests, so long as within the bounds of the law and it is peaceful. But what if they start singing Christmas carols outside the court? Well, obviously we couldn't allow that.